Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the Bitcoin dominance. It's coming in just under 40% here, which is an extremely important level. This was a level that the dominance bounced off of three other times back here in 2021. We held support off this area, and you can also see that back here in 2018, this marked a longer term higher low in the beginning of this big uptrend. So if you guys enjoy the content, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing. Also, by the way, this channel is sponsored by FTX.us. You can check them out in the link in the description below. So if you guys are unaware what the Bitcoin dominance is or what it represents, basically it's just taking the Bitcoin market capitalization and dividing that by the entire cryptocurrency's market capitalization. So Bitcoin, as we know, is coming in just under $400 billion in terms of market cap and the entire cryptocurrency asset class, which is summing up Bitcoin, Ethereum, stablecoins, and every single altcoin, is coming in just under $1 trillion. So that's where that 40% number comes from, that 400 billion of Bitcoin divided by 1 trillion as the entire asset class. And again, this is an extremely important level. We saw how basically this was the low that held back here in May of 2021, September, and later on in December. And basically we're retesting that for a fourth time here. And I think it's important to note that when you have an area that is either a support or a resistance level, the more times you retest that level, the greater the chance is that it breaks. And if it were to break 40%, which it certainly doesn't have to, but if it were, that would have a huge impact and effect on the rest of the market. It could represent that altcoins denominated in Bitcoin are going to be doing very well, but what I'm seeing is that that's not really the case as far as the generalization. I would attribute this move largely to the blue chips like Ethereum and Binance Coin, where they have a pretty high market cap and they've just been performing far better than Bitcoin. We know I've been covering Binance Coin on the channel pretty recently. That has actually made a new all-time high with respect to Bitcoin just recently. And if the Bitcoin dominance does break down from here, you know, that could represent that the blue chips are going to continue that relative strength. Maybe Ethereum does really, really well post-merge and really starts to adopt that flipping narrative. Maybe Binance Coin continues that longer-term breakout. All things that I think are very important to consider. And another case, though, in which the Bitcoin dominance would actually continue this downtrend is that if Bitcoin itself were to have a huge correction, maybe a capitulation-like event where it does start to lose its current lows. And the reason that would send this down is because that would make the stablecoin market capitalization dominance go up. Because Bitcoin would be losing market cap, but those stablecoins would, for the most part, stay roughly the same. And if the Bitcoin dominance were to break down from here, it's hard for me to imagine a scenario in which that would be bullish for the entire asset class. If we were to go back and look at the previous market cycle, we can see the Bitcoin dominance bottomed right here in January of 2018. And that's when the majority of altcoins and Ethereum experienced their market cycle top. And that's when Bitcoin had already experienced its own top around 20K. And then from there, the Bitcoin dominance turned around this downtrend. It went on a pretty big move back up to this 55, 60% region into that longer term cycle low towards the end of 2018, beginning of 2019. But maybe the argument here is that the entire cryptocurrency asset class is just much different today than it was back here in 2019 and 2018. We have basically a lot more confidence in Ethereum and some of the altcoins. The stablecoin usage and adoption has increased drastically, so that does play an important role into that Bitcoin dominance. And you know, we really do have a different environment than we did back here in 2019. So, so there's a few different ways to interpret this, but from my point of view, I would really like to see this 40% area hold. And ideally, if we can have some sort of longer term low and then bounce off this region, I think that would be a lot better for the entire asset class and then if we were to say lose this area completely because a lot of what happens in, in that is investors do start to get disinterested in bitcoin they start to chase attractive altcoins and they start to lose a bid in bitcoin where you know if bitcoin is bearish it it does have a tendency to drag down the rest of the asset class so that's sort of my point of view on that if you guys have a different look please do leave a comment below as always i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next one